Chinese Lunar New Year 2023 This weekend presence of a green comet, super close planets and the biggest new moon in 1337 years. This Sunday in Asia will see the beginning of the Year of the Rabbit as Chinese Lunar New Year comes around again. The massive holiday always begins on the day of the second new moon after the December solstice. This year, New Year 4721, will be caused by a rather unusual new moon, a supermoon new moon, and the closest the moon gets to Earth in a period of 1337 years. It signals the beginning of Chinese Lunar New Year and also comes on the same weekend when Saturn and Venus can easily be seen in a rare conjunction and a so-called green comet is visible in the night sky. The moon has an elliptical orbit around Earth each month, so the distance between the two is always waxing and waning. There's always a point each month when it's closest, perigee, and farthest, apogee. As reported by timeandate.com it just so happens that this weekend's new moon occurs at perigee, and that this one is particularly close. The closest, in fact, since the year 1030 to 992 years ago, and the closest in a period of 1337 years. It's actually only going to be a few miles closer than usual, but king tides in coastal areas are expected in its wake next week. However, since this is a new moon, when our satellite is bet roughly between Earth and the Sun, it will be completely lost in the glare and impossible to see. Look for it emerging as a beautiful super slim crescent moon in the southwest just after sunset on Monday and Tuesday evenings. A rare green comet on a 50,000-year orbit. A green comet streaking across the night sky for the first time in 50,000 years is what you'll read everywhere this week. It's a bit misleading since many comets are green in photos, but not to the eye through a small telescopes and binoculars, which is what Comet 2022E3, ZTF, demands. And it is certainly not streaking through the sky, though look at it through a telescope and you will notice it move every few minutes. Although you can see it this weekend very low in the northern sky, there are some useful star charts on sky and telescope, it's rising all the time. If you want an easy get then it may be best to wait until Sunday, February 5th when it will will pass very close to the bright winter star Capella. By then it should be a brighter, higher and easier to see object visible in the easy right after dark. If it stays bright then on the weekend of February 10th to 12th it will be visible very close to Mars. It is difficult to write these words, but no. Contrary to the rumors you've heard and memes you've seen on social media, there will not be a green moon in the sky tonight. The Earth's only moon, a desolate mass of rock hanging in the R orbit some 238,900 miles away from human civilization, does a lot of things. None of those, however, pertain to it turning green. The timing of these rumors is very telling. Today is Friday, April 20th, aka April 20th. This date signifies and valorizes the smoking of marijuana, which is typically green, much like tonight's supposedly rare moon. According to legend, this supposed moon only appears every 420 years. According to the memes, it occurs when several planets align, causing the moon to appear green for 90 minutes. It is billed as an ephemeral sight that you don't want to miss. For whatever reasons, some people believe the moon will actually turn green tonight. After all, it's on the internet and therefore an infallible truth. The green moon rumors tend to be most convincing for mothers and grandparents, at least according to Twitter. Since ancient times, people have looked up at the moon and wondered about its mysteries. One of the most popular questions is, what day is the green moon? The answer to this question is not as simple as it may seem. 
There are actually two different types of green moons, the harvest moon and the blood moon. The harvest moon is the full moon that occurs closest to the autumnal equinox. This moon gets its name from the fact that it was traditionally used to help farmers with the harvest. The green color of the moon is caused by the sunlight reflecting off of the leaves of the trees. The blood moon is a rare type of lunar eclipse that can sometimes occur when the Earth's shadow falls on the moon. This moon gets its name from the red color that it can take on during the eclipse. The green color of the moon is caused by the sunlight reflecting off of the Earth's atmosphere. So, which day is the green moon? The answer is that it depends on which type of green moon you are talking about. The Earth turned green on April 20th, which was a false April 20th green moon date. This scam began in 2016. The moon will turn green on April 20th, 2018, marking the first time it has turned green in over 420 years. Understand that this is the code word for marijuana, not April 20th, 4 to 20, and that 420 is the date of the 420 festival. In 2016, the green moon hoax was first reported. Following the dark hours fall in the near full moon this week, finding Uranus becomes easier. The green giant is only 4 degrees from the moon's surface. There is no green moon on April 20, 2018. All you have to do is laugh about it. A green moon is a moon that appears green in color. The green color is caused by the same process that causes the sky to appear blue. When the sun's light hits the moon's surface, the blue light is scattered more than the other colors. This makes the moon appear green. On May 29th, a meme was circulating that claimed to predict the first green moon since 1847. This week after darkness falls, the near full moon is a good place to start when looking for Uranus. Despite its size, the ice giant is barely visible from the outside world, with a diameter of four times the Earth's. The 1847 Farmer's Almanac describes a green moon with no relation to its color. On May 29th, there will be no astronomical events of note. The full sturgeon moon, also known as the green corn moon, in August is the only other lunar event that is remotely similar to this one.